Hi and welcome to Priori Digital Studio Tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to set up and use your Habit Tracker spreadsheet in the most efficient way. In this video, I'm using Google Sheets, but the Excel version is almost the same. First thing, we protect most of the cells where there are formulas to make sure that you don't erase any important formulas that could impact the spreadsheet. So if you see this message, it means you are not supposed to touch it. But don't worry, I'll show you step by step how to prepare your spreadsheet. If by mistake you touch a cell and see this message, you can simply click on the X and you should be fine. Another small warning, please don't move a cell from one place to another. If you do move a cell, it could generate an issue by messing up the atomization of the spreadsheet. The best way to avoid these errors is to copy and paste your data if needed. Now let's have a look at the mock data tab. In this tab, you don't have to do anything. It is only there to show you where you can input your data and where you cannot in the Habit Tracker tab. So all the cells frame and red are editable. Now let's have a look at the Habit Tracker tab. First thing, you have to set up the year and the month you want to track. So simply type in the year and choose the month using the drop down menu. Then you can scroll down and start entering your daily habits and the number of times you want to realize this habit during the month. So basically you can enter these numbers of time under the goal column. Once this is done, you can easily track your habits by ticking the checkbox associated with the day of the month. So as you can see here, I already have some data with some goals and some boxes that are already ticked. So now let's make an example and write another habit. So let's say going to the gym. I have a goal of going, let's say, 20 times during the month. So now let's start to tick some boxes. So let's say I went to the gym on the first, the third, the fourth, the fifth, and so on. So now, as you can see, you can see your progression in the progression table. As you can see, all the rest of the spreadsheet is automated and the chart auto-populates. As you can see on the right hand side, you can see the progression for each task or each habit and above your progression for each day and each week. So on the right hand side, as you can see, you have your top 10 daily habits sorted by progress. So in this example, I have as top one taking a bath, then eating healthy, on the top three say, save $5 and so on. So let's take another example. We will take going to the gym. So now it's currently at 70%. And as you can see, if we tick more, it's gonna go up in the ranking. So now it's top three and then top one. Then you can scroll down and set up your weekly habits as well as your goal for each week. So as you can see, I already entered some information here. I have all my weekly habits like laundry, prep meal, etc. And I already tick some boxes. So now let's enter another example. Let's say play with the kids. Let's say I have a goal of playing with the kids at least once a week. So let's write five. And now let's tick some boxes and you will see on the right hand side your progression changing. So just like the daily habits, on the right hand side, you have your weekly habits progression as well as your top three weekly habits. So here, as you can see, my best habit is playing with the kids. At the bottom of this table, I also have some data on my habits. So now let's have a look at the second habit tracker tab. The second habit tracker tab's only purpose is to always have an empty tab since it could be fastidious to untick all the checkbox once you will need to change the month. So before filling this tab, simply make a copy of the tab. To do so, simply right click on the tab name and click on duplicate. As you can see, this tab is automatically duplicated and it's still empty. So this way, with only two tabs, you can use this spreadsheet for a year, two years, basically as long as you want to. Now let's have a look at how to copy this table in Excel since it is a little bit different. So as you can see, I opened the Excel version of this spreadsheet. So to copy the tab in Excel, simply right click on the tab name and click on move or copy. Then select move to the end, tick the box to create a copy 
and then click on OK. So as you can see, a second tab appeared. So this way you will always have an empty tab ready to be filled in. So now let's go back to Go Sheets for the rest of this tutorial. So by copying your tab, you will always have an empty tab ready to be filled in. To keep the same habits and goals, simply copy and paste them in the new tab at the same place. So copy them, go to the other tab and then paste. So as you can see, you still have your same daily habits. You can do the exact same process for the weekly habits. So that's it. I hope this tutorial helps you easily set up your spreadsheet. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. Follow Priori Digital Studio on Etsy and YouTube for sneak peeks on our new templates.